lovely if you tell y'all that care from African TV and today being on sensor, I don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms. And today I have a wife of the double level. And we have here the only Nini. Nini what now? That's it, the only Nini. Okay, so the only Nini we have her today. And guess what? She's a sex therapist. Sex educator. Am I? Yeah. Oh no, tell us now. I'm the only Nini, sex educator and relationship counselor. Hello. And it's really nice to be yeah, here. You know that girl. Yeah, I will. I have a job for that person. No problem. <laughs> Are you more like a therapist? Yeah, yeah, actually, I think I'm more like a therapist than an educator because I talk more about what happens in sex, through sex, what you do in like bed. The trusting and part of it. The trusting part of it and like the pains part of it and also sexuality is more on that okay speaking on that so we want to talk about um female circumcision oh that's it so like what do you think it is about like why do you think what's the reason behind it actually i think according to an article i read on that the reason behind it is to stop the women in a particular tribe from having sex before they get married but i think i think what they forget is that even when you get married, the sex doesn't get sweeter with circumcision. It, 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 it will still be the same thing as so how if does, they had sex. So how does circumcision stop them from having sex? I mean, it's not like when they give it to you, you know that you're not supposed to have sex. Yeah. The clitoral wood, circumcision, they cut the clitoral wood off. And the clitoral wood is the main nerve that actually makes sex pleasurable. Now, when they cut this off, it's, sex becomes very painful. For the women that very they call it, yeah, very painful. And there's thing I heard about you not enjoying sex, so you don't, you don't get, you don't reach an orgasm, so you have sex all the time. Like you can have sex for 10, 15 hours without. When circumcised, right? Yeah, well, actually, I have the a friend feel... that was circumcised, and she can have sex for as long as she wants. No, she doesn't I think get to. they can reach orgasm. They can come like every normal woman, but they, they can't that, enjoy. That sex the way every other person with clitoral would enjoy sex because it's it's been cut off it's it becomes I feel painful like if you are circumcised except you get that knowledge of oh sex is different you had sex this is how sex this is how you know that sex is you don't know beforehand that this is how sex, sex should be yes actually they don't but sex for them is only painful what they know is pain during sex they don't know the pleasure of of it but but they can't come. Circumcised women actually enjoy oral sex. Mm. Seriously? Yes, Ed. They more enjoy Ed me. so much. No, not more. But Ed is like their only form of enjoying sex a there's lot. No penetration. There's no penetration. And you know, when you're giving Ed, the clitoral, or even though it's been cut off, the nerves are still present. So not what, as what much, the though. Do, the penis will not the do. The penis will not do. And you know, when you're having sex, actually, trusting. When you're trusting, the penis will be brushing that clitoral oh, that is painful. So they won't enjoy the wow. inner part of the sex. <laughs> yeah, they won't enjoy the inner part of the sex. All they can know is that pain, except it is oral sex. But what if you use lubricant? Would it be Even like if pain? you use, no, lubricant doesn't numb the pain on the clitoral wood, you know. So like, are you trying to tell me that? Even after the, that place has been stitched <clears throat> and it has healed, mm -hmm. you will still feel pain? Yes. So the pain never goes. Like no, it's, it's, it's it, it doesn't. According to the women I have talked to, according to the women I've wow. talked to, they I all have one thing in common. Pain. Like no, no, no. It's not like that. You know that place is very, very soft. It is soft. Even when it's cut off, it is still soft. Like a button. You understand? It doesn't heal. <laughs> mm, <button. laughs> exactly. It doesn't heal right. at all. So we'll take a short break now. I know when we come back, of course, we'll be talking about everything. Everything sex. Everything sex. <laughs> Welcome back to Uncensored on Africunia TV, where we don't do what we where we don't have no filter. We don't filter anything. Mm. We give you raw as it comes. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms on join to and program. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, of course. Like and drop a comment for us in the comment section. Before we went on the break, we we're going to talk about bisexuality. So, Nini, what's your what's your take on bisexuality? Okay, well, you asked what was my take. Do you want me to talk about the female part or the male part or the two? You know, the female part is more interesting because. <laughs> you think so? Because <laughs> I don't want to see two guys. I mean, like. No, no, not as much as you don't want to see two guys. I'm sure there are also some guys that don't want to see two females. Yeah. So it's well, just I feel like the homophobia. There's still something to touch. There's still something to that touch. And men, there's not enough. The guys are going to be touching their dangling, whatever. They are both. Well, no, why do you think? Well, there's enough sex for men, gay. 
and trust me it's enjoyable wow. yeah it's enjoyable so what okay. are you I'm bisexual actually. Okay. I love women as much as I love men. Thank you. As much I'm, as I'm I love not men. Only me. You're the only straight person. Okay. Is it me? I'm straight. The, I'm the rulers can go out. You're so a ruler. You me to leave you guys. Mm, actually, we can manage you, you understand? <laughs> no, manage you. We'll soon add you to the club. Okay. So, so bisexuality, do you think it's actually like a nature versus nurture thing or is it just like personal preference? Um, actually, I think it's a nature thing. To me, like I think born it's a natural. Yeah, of course. Born. No, 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 no. I, I won't say born as a. When you're born, you're just born. They call you a girl. They call you a guy. But when you start growing, you realize you probably feel a type of way when you're around female, and you feel a type of way when you're around male. And you actually, when you have sex with the two gender, but most people don't always know how to feel about it because when we are in Nigeria, the government frowns on LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. You understand, but when is it? Is not. I think there's now a plus in front of it. Yeah, there's a plus that there. Plus there's always. A, oh, it is. I'm coming. Le lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, um, queer. The plus is the other uh, asexuals. Um, what's it called? Sorry, I forgot. I know asexual. Cause dresser, there. Cause cause dresser. Dresser. Yeah, exactly. Or so the sports queen. That, so do you think that our environment has has shaped you know the way we because for some, for most girls that I've seen, there is a tomboys that are attracted to girls because they get to play with guys all the time. They're around guys. So mm -hmm. I feel like because they, they, there's this consciousness that okay. they are part of the male gender and that's why they go for the girls. No, no. You can't just go for a gender because you feel I am, I'm, I'm like a guy. I dress like a guy. I should go for girls. If you don't feel it, you can't do it. It's like you wanting to have sex with someone you don't like. When someone you don't like touches you, you are like you, you become you become repulsive towards the touch. Like no, but when you like the person, it flows. It is the same as bisexual. Why do we have? Of course, like they're just girly like, like, lesbians. lesbians. Exactly, exactly. But eighty percent of lesbians are always you know tomboys. No, I disagree. I totally disagree. If they're always tomboys, who do they date? Do I look like? Do I look like it? No, it's eighty percent. No, no, no. I don't agree with that. Actually, some decide to be tomboys because they like dressing that way, or they want to ascertain, um, how will I put it, authority. Like I am the man in the relationship. In I'm in charge. I am the dom, the dominant one, the one that does most of the whole thing. Like I think satisfy me more. Exactly. Like I'm the one that does all the stuff. She is the one that receives. She's the bottom and the top. So dom. what do they gain? Those like I mean, what do they gain? If the only thing they do is to like give me pleasure, how do they gain their pleasure? Actually, you understand how you can moan and someone will get turned on. The thing is, me, maybe I'm actually in a scissor situation with the female. Mm -hmm. If I'm if she tells me to finger her, mm -hmm. fingering her is not giving me pleasure. It's giving her She's pleasure. moaning. I know, but like I'm trying to put myself in a situation of a dominant person now. Mm -hmm. She's moaning. How am I? Moaning does not give me no, pleasure. Some people it's not giving pleasure. Me. Okay. I've tried it before. It did not give me anything. I'm like, Baba, come fast. Let me come and give me my own pleasure. Dominance. <laughs> Being dominant doesn't mean you don't receive. Okay, you do receive. You do receive. You are just more of the one that does more. Like guys always want to be the one on the head when you like. Let me fuck you. I don't know. Let me be the one doing the oh fucking because they, they feel they enjoy it more. Being dominant doesn't mean you don't get to the bottom sometimes. Doesn't mean you don't get pleasure at all. No, no, no. How do they come then? Some people derive pleasure from only. Yes, some people. It doesn't apply to everybody, you know. Speaking of which, let me ask one question. Like straight sex now. Maybe it applies to other kind of sex too. Mm -hmm. but like being on top, maybe like these situations that put you on top, like um, cow girl. Cow -girl. You know, there's this insecurity that comes with you being on top. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe if you have, you know, there's this kind of face that comes with sex. Like, there's this, yeah. oh, God, you cannot drive in front of me. <laughs> so, there's this kind of face that comes with you. So, like, you know, when, when, maybe you're, like, ashamed or you're shy, all that mm -hmm. face you give. Or maybe you're insecure about your boobs. Maybe it's not this firm, pecky boobs. It's just not saggy, though, but, like, just drooping a little. Okay. You become insecure. How do you conquer that insecurity during that kind of position? It is always before sex. Acceptance. Because you know this is, is um, during sex. Maybe, during maybe se when it like happens those, during sex. You know, change position. Okay. You're not like okay. You're not like come on top. You're not like ah no, <laughs> I cannot do. Oh, or maybe you have to body. close your eyes. Or I blindfold you. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, I think most of men feel that way. 
it, it diverts them from the pleasure. It, it comes with feeling that with before the sex. It, it always happened before the sex. Then your brain picks it up when you start thinking about it. Like, how is it going to feel if you're seeing me on top? If you weren't feeling that way before sex, you might, you might not feel that way during sex. If you've never looked at yourself in, the, in some type of way that maybe you are over a mirror and you're like, okay, if I'm over a guy, this is how I'm going to look. And I don't like it. You are the one that don't like it. What if he does? How to actually overcome that is you not thinking about that. Think about the sex, the pleasure. All right, all right. Let's take a quick break now. <laughs> and of course, when we come back, we're going to be talking about exploring sexual fantasies. Welcome back, guys. As we actually stay in earlier, we're talking about a lot of things. So now let's talk about sexual fantasy. Okay. So what's your, not even what's your take. <laughs> what do you think sexual fantasy is? Um, okay, let's say it's some things people want to try out that is not the regular sex that doesn't involve the regular thrusting only because people actually believe when you want to have sex all you have to do is smooch the boobs the penis or the vagina the head stuff and then go straight to the sex but some people always want to spice it up they want to do something that that they enjoy more than the regular thrusting and everything or, or the other four plays so what do you think about those that like bdsm because for me i think that is painful sex should i say something meaning yeah meaning. sure like first of all when i ask people that sexual fantasy they tell me um what is it even talk? they tell me reverse cowgirl they tell me butterfly style those are those sex BDSM. i'm like that's like normal sex. yeah those people, are those bdsm is like a normal lifestyle right mm -hmm. right it is not a fantasy fantasy is like going out of the box actually I disagree with that BDSM is a sexual fantasy because there are BDSM that are not the regular BDSM. It has stage. It has stage okay. and there are safe words for it. There's this normal BDSM where you just tie the hand to the back, tie the hand to the front and stuff like that. And like there are some... Tie this hand and tie this leg. Instead yes. of BDSM, why not just be on top and know that you're in charge? Because I feel like the BDSM thing, you want somebody, you want to be in charge and then you want the other person to just no. be just No, 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 not really. Do I'll do the job for you. Do you know the meaning of BDSM? What's, what's BDSM? So you don't. Because I just see it in movies. People tie their legs. I it feel is like bondage and stuff. Um, yeah, slave and master kind of thing. Bondage. It is not it's about being in the body. Do you know? Yeah, yeah, there is some. Pleasure. There are some pa um, pleasure so you get in the pain. Maybe, maybe yeah, let, no, let's give no, an instance like now. Maybe a guy is giving you head now, and you know sometimes it's giving you so head, like it's giving you head. Yeah, so you want to use your hand to twist, put his head. You want to touch him, but when you're like, you know, tied, your hand is tied or. Why are you being controlled? Mm -hmm. how, how, does, how, is, how does it feel on the part of the person that is being tied or the person that is you would enjoy being you haven't there. tried it you before i think you don't you wouldn't know mm. actually you wouldn't know there there are there is a choker there's a choker there they are there is the whip the and people painful. enjoy Trust yeah it's not painful it is bled i don't know who is this that thing that looks like koboko whip is whip. <laughs> 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 said koboko have you have you the, the whip is leather just Koboko. There are most of my father has beaten me. Yes. Like, I can like imagine having sex when someone is using them. Why? It doesn't feel like, it feels like you are being patted. It feels like fedder. It, it oh, feels it like it, I understand where you are coming it's from. You are like, you don't like, like it because it's been used on you before. It has been used on me. So you don't up, like Ami Koboko. It doesn't. My son is not Ami Koboko. Yeah, it doesn't always involve whip. It doesn't always involve whip. It doesn't though. always involve Yes, you can choose. There are there's catalogs. Nipple clamps, you, yes, and there's a nipple, nipple clamp. Why do you want to go to the clamp? It's just the There's clamp too. It's just you need to spice it up now. Do you, do you just do the four plating and then you have like sex? I just lie down again. Oh my god, your sex life is so boring. Thank you. I can't even think about it. Thank you. You're not welcome. Insulted. I don't feel insulted. Are you of course you can't? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I think video is actually just, nice. At least, maybe, you know when you get blindfolded, you become sensitive. I want to see. Do you do you like doggy? No. Not really. Why? I want to see you. Why do you know there's, there's this there's this I pleasure that comes with doggy? Why like, do you let me say one thing about doggy. When you are doing doggy, apart from the fact that his dick is trusting me. The balls are not knocking you. You feel no, the balls. Yes, it's like the clitoris. You feel the balls in the fat. Oh, no. you've, uh, probably you've been having doggy that is painful. Uh, uh, it's in painful, right? Probably. It's not, it's not but have you but had... I think I'm just one of those that 
face people that are very conscious about their body, about you know facial expressions, reaction. Because when like, I start, I, I don't exactly. react. I'm just because oh. I feel like when you moan, it sounds. It just hey. feels okay. Can we humble. conclude because that? Can we? Okay, okay, wait. Sorry. Can we conclude that you don't enjoy sex? I enjoy sex, but I don't like to show it. No. You do you enjoy sex? I don't sex? get lost in sex. Nobody gets lost in sex. I have not heard of a pussy. Let me give an instance. Let me give an instance. Maybe you are being tickled by someone. You would not say you were, when when you were tickled, you were actually feeling ticklish, but you were hiding it. Yeah, it's not possible so. to hide the feeling of being ticklish. Like when someone tickles you, yeah. there's no way you can hold it. You have to before, bust out loud. Before like, I go into just it, like how I'm sex conscious. No matter how much the time that I just try to definitely it doesn't come like I'm screaming. That means you've not been enjoying sex. You do, oh. If you try to moan during sex, <laughs> if you try to moan during sex, it means you're not enjoying the sex. Moan is supposed to come out. Or maybe like I yes, there, there's a gasp that comes in when is you it just okay trust for you in. Not to like sex, like I don't like. Sex. Yeah, some people don't like sex because they don't people enjoy like it. Play. And you could have vaginismus. It's uh, like it's like a um how would I put it? It's like a spasm, vaginismus. I don't are you sure? Jesus name, I do not have it. You have like to say Jesus it's name. Like it it's like a spasm, a muscle spasm that comes with being taught during sex, like a pressure that it just comes. Like no, I don't want to have sex, but I let me just do it because it's just want to have the sex. Let me ask you. Dear, but you won't enjoy it. You won't enjoy your your vagina floor will not produce, will not secrete the way it wants that, to secrete. What do you think about this um, tribe? Sometimes, thing. and. There's a particular, you know, it's just people just say it. It's just one funny. Okay. They say girls, edo girls, had like sex because they do at the back of their. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that. So no, I've actually heard that. No, I don't believe that. Let I don't me, believe I that. Think, before we move into this new topic, let me ask a question. You know, during sex, like maybe I think doggy gives the room for deeper penetration. Yes. Exactly the way if you now pull your back down, like like yeah. this, and throw uh, back shots again. Ex, let me give an instance. Now, like when you are like doing that doggy and the guy maybe he has a huge dick, why do you feel this kind of sensation in your lower abdomen? Pain. Not pain. Okay. This one is not pain. This it's one is like. Your maybe is it? I don't know if it's the G spot. Is it the G spot? Yeah. Or is this kind of sensation that is like. It's not pain. You are going though. to bust soon. Exactly. Like you want to bust soon. Why does it feel like it needs to be? Written actually. Actually, about the pee side, when you're having sex, your bladder, in, or the water in your bladder increases. Urine, even if you pee before sex, you are likely going to pee after yeah, sex. Because exactly. when you're having sex, the, um, what's it called, the skin gland that actually produces your female cum is in, almost in the same place. Not in the same place. Almost in the same circle. As the um, how would I put it? The G spot, and the bladder is just above it. So when you are having sex, when you are nodding at the skin gland at the G spot, the water in the bladder keeps increasing. Does that what causes squirt? Yes. Or even people will not piss on the bed. Exactly. They will not stay in Nigeria. They don't know how to squirt because we are holding our urine. Exactly. Exactly. Because the Nigerian people are like. If I pee now, if I squirt now, you would think I pee on this bed. But it you actually, not they don't Then go pee. They Essentially, porn, porn will make you feel like you are not coming right. When but it's actually does pee. Where squirt come from? Does it come from the pee only? Yes, from, it comes from the left rack. Exactly. It, it comes from the pee. Uh, yes, but it, it is urine. You are not peeing consciously at that point. Some people, you, can, you, you, some people can hold it. Uh -huh. Some people don't mind So I want to understand. It's still, when you are squirting, it means that water is not water. It's still urine. Yes. Since yes. it's coming from. Yes. yes. So I can as well just pee, right? Yes. Exactly. That's why when you're having sex and you feel the urge to pee and, and you're so like, stop, I want to pee. Like the water exactly. comes from like the vagina oh No. No. Mm. There's the calm. The actual female comb that comes from the vagina oh But it is not white. It is it is like white white. You will see like it's true. It's like very, very white. But the um square is pee. It is like your pee. It is your urine. It is your like like body calm, the com the exactly, exactly. Because the nodding, the constant nodding oh, of that particular spot during that period doesn't mean that the guy is actually endowed in the dick side. Uh, it doesn't, Does, matter. It doesn't mean that the guy is hitting the real spot. It doesn't matter, the G spot is just two inches after your vagina opening, seriously, two inches inside. But yeah. there's some people that their own dick cannot reach that G spot, yeah. unfortunately. For if them. the dick cannot reach that two spot, that doesn't mean that, um. You the cannot want to pee. Small. You cannot want to pee. Doesn't mean that you would not feel that urge to pee because it's not hitting that spot. No. Actually, if it is... Are you serious? Are you trying to say they are two inches dick? Or one inch dick? They, they are! Can... They are! Hey. Actually, they are! Let's they are. not go there. Some people are watching. They are! Ah, your dick is... 
mom. Ah, oh my you know God. This? The mom was not telling you that it's like a gherkin. Gherkin is not big. Oh my God. You know that brother that's... that is inside the pot. Yes. It can't be that bad. That's what I'm saying. I don't even call it a Dennis. No best. Come on, so it, 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 it taught you guys I was fucking, but you actually feel like. I was. I'm that. like, have you entered? Oh I thought it was like using finger to do toko toko. Are you? You're like, are you him? Yes. Baba say everything I've entered. Everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, oh like, and the sugar that you need to ask more. Learn fast. to be content with whatever it is that you do. That should be okay for you too. Content, oh. go. Don't, don't be greedy. Go on, no, I like to ask someone that have more yeah. than one. Than, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to say the name. But you just said learn to be content. Right? Okay, so, so let me just say one last thing, one last question before we round up. So, what do you think about mourning during sex? Do you think if you don't mourn, that that like that makes you less? Because personally, let me tell you my own story. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't know how to move right from time. Mm-hmm. But my sister, hey oh god, I'm so sorry I'm exposing you. She's this kind of person that used to watch porn. Okay. So she knows how to move because she has watched she already like, you know, you know when you're watching, you want to imitate them. So me from then I started to imitate them. Before you see, you just see me in the room. I was just like, uh uh. From there I learned how to move, even without even having to have sex. I could move. Then having to now have sex actually. The moon that I was practicing before that started to come out naturally. Yeah. And I became like someone that was able to moon professionally. Okay. But that was my first moon, you get it? Mm-hmm. So we just say that people need to practice how to moon for them to be perfect. Or they should just not moon at all. They should be mm, mm, mm. No, 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 no. You have to moon. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Actually, you can learn how to moon like you did. You can learn how to moon. But you don't necessarily enjoy sex. Mooning doesn't mean you're enjoying the sex. You understand? And some people, they can't just hide the fact that they are not enjoying that sex. And some people actually don't know how to moan at all. You know, okay, let's assume our, our parents, though, I can't think of it, but they are like, how do they do it? Ha! I know they yeah. do Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. You <laughs> but when you uh, watch porn, you you notice the way they do it, like out, uh, all this kind of, uh, all this kind of thing. The thing is, but that's not, not natural when it comes to porn because these people it's, that act, yeah, they it's want is you to not feel natural. Type of but it too. also teaches you what to actually how to what to, what to say, let what me, to moan out, and not the yeah ha kind of thing. Let me give an instance. I checked Google because I was feeling insecure about my moan, even as much as my moan was nice. I was still feeling insecure about it. Mm-hmm. You no, know, we are very insatiable. So I was checking Google on how to moan. They were saying that. More, is it cost one app? I can't remember the name of the, the blog. Mm-hmm. Was like throwing some dirty words, yes. like fuck. I'm like, imagine having sex with a Nigerian guy, like, oh, chop me, fuck me, chop my neck, <laughs> uh, I got my lizard, blah blah blah. How? How I will you, it feel? It's only it's going to be like so fake if you do it, like. Exactly. Fuck yeah, me. but actually, no I, I don't think I don't think men we think it is fake. Is Do we assume you're enjoying it? Because morning naturally comes with enjoying sex. But throwing those words in. Throwing those words in actually t- is a turn on for some people. And throwing those words in is I I I, I personally think it's important sometimes. Mm. Like talking during sex, no, it is early. It's like very very nice. When you talk during sex, when he's doing it and what you're kind of telling him, oh, I love you, oh, I, I, I'm enjoying it, I like, it. like it. Yeah, do that again. You, you do can't it again. Talk hey, too much. Like, some people are just. Do you know when you. Do too much. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, we do so fuck much. Me and like everything. Never fucked before. That's the way we come. Like Jesus is coming to this world. <laughs> yeah, some people actually did so much with it. Some people All right. Did so, so do much you have any sex tea for viewers? Anything to like help them spice up their sex life? Yeah, if you are having painful sex. If sex is very very painful for you, I think the first thing to do outside the regular foreplay is to listen to the girl. Let her say what she wants. Foreplay doesn't necessarily have to be this um, squishing of the boobs, head and stuff. So like women, men are like have erogenous parts. Erogenous parts are sensitive parts that turns you on. Men, the back of their neck, the back of the neck of the man can turn him on. The waist and this low waist and the neck. Yeah, this muscle here. Yeah. Even ladies. Have you ever like tried like, to get icky like, before? Oh, no. like it actually, if you suck on the muzzle here, it turns you on more. Listen to the girl more than you listen to yourself. You don't know the hole you are entering. Oh, you can't see the hole you are entering. I'm putting it in the wrong hole. <laughs> oh, you don't know the hole you are entering. And when you enter into that hole, it's not necessarily pleasurable for the girl. All right. All right, all right. It's a wrap on on censored ah, on African TV. Really yeah, I'm sure you guys enjoyed yourself. I mean, we that were I did. Yeah, I really enjoyed myself. 
really enjoyed ourselves. Don't if forget you don't to get, forget. follow us on our social mm-hmm. media platforms and join Tim and Pangram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like and drop a comment for us in the comment section. I remain AY with the double R. And of course, this is the only nini and you can follow me on instagram the only nini zero at instagram at gmail.com sorry you the only mean, nini at the only nini zero at gmail.com that's at your email sorry oh my god you don't have your instagram that was can you edit that out right okay on instagram it's the only nini zero on instagram and the mail the only nini zero at gmail.com and whatsapp zero nine zero one six double two three double six zero and don't forget, I'm still Jack Kepa. And so, it is uncensored on a Thank you. Bye. I will love you so much.